Yeah, I'm broadcasting from Europe, uh, from uh, the Czech Republic, uh, the, the border uh, with the Germany, uh, and uh, actually from the mountains. So hopefully the broadcast will be okay. Uh, let's uh, try to share my screen. So I have uh, 30 minutes, uh, so let's be, uh, let's be brief, let's be fast. Uh, let's talk about uh, phone forensic now. Uh, I could see uh, the presentation with dark web was uh, very interesting and uh, very, very important. Uh, now we will focus a little bit to a different uh, area, which is uh, phone forensics. And uh, as you can see on this first slide, uh, I have here some information about uh, my Indian tour, uh, because right before the COVID uh, hit the world, uh, I was at a few months a uh, huge uh, tour through India, where I have met a lot of people uh, and uh, probably probably uh, a few of you as well. Uh, so th this is uh, the, the map uh, of the places uh, where uh, I visited, where I met uh, people, where I had um, uh, seminars and uh, speeches. Uh, so I've seen uh, the, the phone forensic and the, the forensic labs uh, in India, and I could see that uh, they are pretty advanced. I could see that uh, there is uh, a different set of phones, uh, and I've learned uh, a lot uh, about the country. Uh, you, you can see me uh, in the, here in the front uh, with uh, Helena. Uh, uh, as we uh, were meeting uh, for police units, forensic labs, uh, experts in uh, in the whole country. Here uh, there was meeting with uh, military uh, guys and uh, we had a lot of discussions. So uh, this presentation will be uh, also based on uh, Foundings uh, and my uh, learning from Indian market. Who Compulson is? For those who uh, never heard, uh, we are a company that uh, started in 1991 with PC security, and I was uh, at that time renowned uh, antivirus and PC security expert, uh, both on hardware level and software level. So antivirus industry was our first focus. And we are known for uh, innovative products. So whatever we do is kind of different than uh, what you can see in, uh, in other approaches. Uh, complete development is based in Prague, uh, Czech Republic, European Union. Uh, here uh, you can see in the map, uh, we are uh, right in the middle of, uh, of the Europe. And this is the typical picture of uh, the capital of Prague uh, where we do operate. Uh, for those who haven't been and uh, who will cooperate with us, uh, you, you are invited uh, to visit us in our, uh, in our uh, office. We are quickly growing. We have new office, new forensic lab, uh, and a lot of new things, as you will see. Um, uh, why, why it is that the Czech Republic, so small country, could be interesting uh, to uh, provide some information uh, to India or to, to the world about uh, mobile forensics. Uh, despite the fact we are a small country, we have very strong antivirus industry here. And uh, you may know one of uh, these antivirus products like AVG, Asset or Avast. Avast is probably the most known. So all these products uh, are coming from uh, Czech Republic. They, they are based in uh, Czech Republic. Uh, so uh, the, the antivirus industry is strong here and it's not so far from antivirus industry to, uh, to uh, phone uh, security industry. And uh, in fact, uh, I was uh, in the beginning uh, connected to, uh, to Avast uh, or the CEO of Avast uh, was in the beginning a developer in, in Compelson. Uh, and uh, f he, he continued in PC security, and uh, we've seen the future in mobile forensics. So we focused, we refocused from PC security to mobile security. So we have pretty deep roots of knowledge uh, of both uh, PC or computer uh, security uh, and uh, the, the phones. And uh, we started uh, to uh, focus 
uh, on uh, phone forensic in 1996, uh, which uh, means that we are one of the first original uh, companies uh, starting the phone forensic as uh, you know it uh, today. Uh, we started with mobile edit uh, pioneer forensic tool. Uh, we have also some other mobile edit uh, product range, uh, but that's not that important uh, today. And we have over 10 million installations of all our products together. So uh, we are not just phone forensic company, but currently it's our major focus. Uh, mobile edit uh, is uh, very popular. Uh, in uh, forensic labs in the whole world. Uh, it's been used in Ministry of Defenses in many countries uh, and anti-terrorist units, uh, US government, FBI, Interpol, Europol, uh, for, for all these big institutions, they, they uh, know us well. Uh, now, because uh, this conference is uh, like a wider range, from internet security, dark web, uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about forensic science, uh, where phone forensic belongs. Uh, so forensic science uh, started in the 16th century with pathology, uh, then it had development through toxicology, ballistics, fingerprints, DNA. All these fields are extremely important, but today uh, it's not enough. Today it's not enough to use these classical uh, big fields because world has changed. Uh, it has changed uh, to uh, the massive usage of forms. Uh, and uh, it's currently not true because it's, it changed uh, twice. It changed like this because of the COVID. Uh, so because of the COVID, everything digitalized even more. So uh, all operations, uh, including the school, uh, the work, uh, shopping, uh, social contact, uh, everything uh, switched uh, almost 100% to, to digital world. And uh, the phones play a very important role in that. Because computers, not everybody owns computers, uh, but uh, almost everybody owns phone. Uh, also, phone is very personal device. Uh, but unfortunately, phones are strong tools for organizing crime uh, and uh, they often uh, keep the most important evidence. So uh, the evidence uh, you can obtain from phone uh, increases uh, rapidly the conviction rate and helps solve important cases. Uh, so for uh, uh, authorities, it's very important to be able to step uh, in this uh, digital world to get digital evidence and uh, uh, it's very important to get it from uh, the mobile phone. Uh, no matter if you uh, visit dark web uh, or, or if, uh, if you deal with uh, cryptocurrencies or uh, if you use drones for illegal activities, uh, if, uh, if you use clouds, uh, all these sources of data from, from internet uh, for, or from devices such as drones, uh, smartwatch, uh, they are very often uh, stored in phones. So uh, mobile phones uh, are extremely important for your successful uh, investigations. Uh, now let's take a look uh, more, more deeply uh, what it uh, means and uh, what can we do here. So uh, we understand that phone forensic is uh, extremely important, but uh, it has a few challenges. It's not an easy film. It's not an easy film. Uh, so, uh, first huge challenge is phone unlocking. Uh, phones are being equipped with uh, increasing security, uh, with uh, improved uh, security of operating systems or uh, new techniques such as uh, face ID, fingerprints, and so on. Uh, so, phone unlocking is challenge number one. Uh, challenge number two is content extraction, because if you uh, have phone unlocked, uh, you still don't have evidence, you have just phone unlocked. Uh, so in order to obtain evidence, you need to have uh, the, the solution that will uh, extract everything, not forgetting any, uh, any data, uh, carving uh, well, uh, 
uh, recovering, deleting the data, uh, decrypting uh, data stored in applications, uh, and so on. So con content extraction, as we understand it, is a uh, second uh, f f very important challenge. And third one is data analysis, because if you are successful with first two challenges, so you have phone unlocked, you have uh, extracted data, you have probably a lot of data, such as uh, gigabytes, uh, maybe terabytes, uh, if the case is uh, consisting of a uh, few phones, many phones. So you need uh, some good solution to find uh, the right evidence uh, among this huge, huge uh, quantity of data. So data analysis is uh, another big challenge because there is not uh, enough experts, enough people uh, dealing with, with the evidence. And uh, what uh, tools, what approaches do we have uh, to be successful with these challenges? So uh, for, it's important to have some tools for unlocking phones. Uh, the most often uh, there are uh, tools using software hacks, tools uh, like UFAT, uh, XYY, Oxygen, uh, Mobile Edit, uh, those tools, they use uh, software hacks, software method, methods, methods uh, that are communicating through, through cables uh, and uh, are trying to, to get data through logical acquisition or physical image acquisition. Uh, you can also use flasher boxes, special service tools like uh, Rivbox, Z3X, Octopus, uh, who, which uh, are able to get uh, deeper uh, to, to the board of the phone and to extract data directly from uh, chips uh, by using methods as uh, JTAG or ISP, or if, uh, you can use uh, chip off as the most low level uh, technique to extract data directly from, from the memory. Uh, so this is the overview of uh, methods, uh, how to deal with challenges I, I mentioned. Now let's uh, take a look how can we help uh, the, the composition company and uh, the mobile edit team? How can uh, we help you to get uh, the evidence from uh, mobile devices? So uh, for the, these three challenges, uh, phone unlocking, content interaction, and uh, for data analysis, we can deal in the following way. Uh, so with a new mobile edit uh, forensic version 8. Uh, that's the uh, thing uh, we will be talking about because we are very close to release this new version. It's breakthrough version. Uh, of, uh, it is a new philosophy of, of uh, work. Uh, and uh, of, uh, I, I will address uh, the, the challenges uh, with uh, capabilities of this new version. So uh, the new version 8, phone unlocking. Uh, so we are going model by model and adding uh, unlocking techniques, advanced unlocking techniques. Uh, and we focus to phones that uh, first nobody is able to, to unlock and uh, we focus to uh, Indian phones. So uh, we are able to uh, unlock uh, uh, interesting number of uh, phone models and chipsets that are uh, popular in India. Uh, we, we focus to systems as, uh, as Kios. Uh, and systems uh, that are being used by uh, phones like uh, geo uh, geo phones uh, that are specific to, to India. And uh, f during uh, my journey through India, I gathered uh, f uh, f a large number of uh, specific phones that we analyzed uh, in our lab. Some of them we already support and we release that and some of them we will uh, support in the new coming version 8. Uh, and uh, we uh, will introduce a new approach which we call live updates for unlocking. You will see uh, on next slides uh, what it means and how it can help uh, you to be more effective uh, with phone forensic. So uh, that's regarding phone unlocking. Uh, we'll be back with this, uh, with this uh, challenge uh, in a few minutes. Uh, the next uh, challenge, content extraction, uh, we do precise data carving by using multiple uh, protocols. And you don't have to choose which protocol exactly to, to run uh, for uh, data acquisition. We choose them automatically. 
So you, you, you don't have to choose if uh, file system uh, one, uh, file system two, uh, iTunes backup or, or Android ADB backup. Uh, we know exactly which phone is connected and uh, we intelligently uh, switch between all those protocols. They duplicate the data uh, that uh, certain protocols bring uh, similar data. Uh, and uh, we, we bring uh, the maximum possible uh, from the phone. Uh, we focus pretty much to application analysis and we believe uh, that's our strongest uh, feature and uh, we, we believe we are uh, the, the most successful tool in this area. And uh, we use live updates for application analysis. So, uh, we, we uh, use live updates for applications analysis uh, and newly also for phone unlocking. And for data analysis, we use uh, AI, so machine learning, uh, deep learning uh, technologies uh, to find uh, the proper photos you might be searching for and to find proper uh, faces. Uh, and we export uh, all data to third party solutions so you can use of uh, UFET tools and other tools uh, to uh, find exact uh, exact data. Uh, so what uh, exactly uh, does our team offer? Uh, we are most known with uh, mobile edit forensic tool, but that's uh, not the only thing. Uh, for we offer various connection kits, as you will see further, uh, physical uh, kits uh, to help you uh, connect phones or uh, Apple Watch. Uh, we have camera ballistics uh, that is able uh, to match uh, the photo to the exact phone or a camera, uh, like bullet to a gun. And uh, for we, we run a uh, pretty advanced forensic lab. Uh, we are able to help you with uh, expert advisory. So if you have some important case, you can contact us and uh, we uh, can help you uh, to uh, advise you with exact steps uh, or advisory how to unlock the phone, if it's uh, even possible, if uh, uh, we, we have some experience uh, with that phone, with a chipset, and we can help you with live updates, updating the, the mobile edit. So we are offering the trainings, trainings not only for mobile edit uh, forensic, but uh, advanced trainings like for JTAGing, ISP, chip off, and, and others. Uh, we can run it uh, physically in our lab as the uh, world uh, becomes uh, opening after, uh, after COVID. Uh, we will be able to welcome you in our uh, lab. Uh, and uh, we can help you in building of uh, forensic, uh, forensic labs. Uh, let's take a look uh, how more exactly can we help you uh, with uh, mobile edit forensic uh, aid. So, uh, as I mentioned, uh, for we, we are launching unlocking with live updates. What, what it means? It means that the software uh, is updated online or of course offline. You can download uh, those updates uh, offline. And uh, th these updates consist uh, of new phone model support, of new bootloaders, of new programmers. Uh, and uh, other uh, data packages uh, that are necessary uh, to unlock the phone. And with live updates, there is no new software installation needed. So you don't need to reinstall the software that uh, is offering huge flexibility that you know from antivirus software. With antivirus software, uh, the, the field is so dynamic that it's not possible to reinstall the software every day. But every day or a few times in a day, you are receiving the data package with uh, improved knowledge that helps you to fight uh, the, the viruses. Uh, we introduce the same thing for unlocking phones. Uh, with uh, new version 8, we focus much more to physical acquisition. Uh, for, we focus to phones that nobody can, can unlock and we have pretty good set. Uh, and with live updates, you can drive our development. What it means? Uh, we gather user requests so you can send us the phones you really need to unlock. And we focus, our team focus on those phones. Uh, for, we analyze 
uh, those phone uh, phones. Uh, if, we, if we get them, we purchase them. Uh, if we don't have them in our phones database, uh, and our uh, engineers and experts, uh, they, they focus on analyzing the, them primarily. Uh, and uh, for, we focus to, to phones popular in India. So uh, if, if you have some important cases, uh, for, we will be glad to cooperate. Uh, and also, uh, for, for we are opening positions in, in India, uh, we are hiring in India, so uh, we, we would be interested to gather phone models uh, from, from India to analyze them uh, here in Prague or uh, in our uh, future Indian uh, subsidiary to be even closer to you and to be even, even faster. And uh, as soon as we are uh, successful, uh, in some cases, of course, uh, when the new, uh, quite new uh, method, unlocking method, uh, we, we develop, uh, then it's important to uh, completely update mobile edit. Uh, in cases where this is not necessary, uh, the live updates uh, will, will serve. And uh, for mobile edit now go, goes uh, even to uh, the, the instruction uh, of pinouts, so uh, disassembling of the phone and what pinouts in the phone to uh, to shorten, to get the phone uh, in the specific state to be able to to get the data without the knowledge of the passcode. So mobile edit now is getting to be a much more low level tool. Uh, another challenge that we uh, address uh, in content extraction is application analysis because uh, even if you have the phone unlocked, if you have physical analysis, if you are very successful in that, uh, for, it's useless if you are not getting the exact data. The exact data uh, is logical, yeah? And the most often the data is hiding in applications. Uh, and the applications are most popular for everything, messaging, sharing, broadcasting for, for schools, for, for rating, for, for watching movies, for everything. So the, the most in, uh, important data is there. But uh, the challenge is not easy uh, because uh, of following problems. There are too many apps. Uh, they are often being involved strong encryption in apps. And uh, apps are updated uh, very often. And many apps are local. There are many apps uh, that are available only in India. So how to deal with that? And we deal with it uh, with live updates that uh, we introduced something like two, two years ago. Uh, and it's a pretty, pretty successful and pretty popular uh, approach, yeah? Because uh, you can send us requests uh, for app and we can, we can respond. And we can respond much faster than typical response of major uh, software update. Forensic software update is two, two to three months, which is not enough. With live updates, uh, we can we can respond literally in in days when possible, and as we believe that uh, updates is core uh, of success in phone forensics, uh, you can see here the uh, update page of Mobile Edit where we are updating uh, specific modules like uh, the program itself, like uh, scripts, like application downgrades, uh, like uh, the EDL approach, uh, like face matcher. Uh, like uh, like uh, cell towers and, and many others. So we, we have very advanced updates uh, that are modular. So you, you are updating only what, what is what is new here. Uh, and because of this approach, we have over 1,000 of unique apps supported, uh, which I believe is the far highest number in the in the industry. Uh, uh, I think you've added something uh, 300 to 200 to, to 400 uh, unique apps. Uh, Oxygen is uh, something uh, between 400 and 500 unique apps. Uh, so our focus to, to apps analysis uh, and live updates brought this uh, high, high number uh, of supported apps. But uh, what is maybe even more important is that uh, on our website, uh, when we, you go to support and supported apps, we have publicly available database, the list uh, of supported apps. So you can see exactly what apps do we support uh, even before you purchase the, the license. So everybody can see that. Uh, you can see not only what app is supported, but what kind of data we are able to get uh, from the app. 
and uh, if the app is not here because of course we don't support uh, all of them so if find uh, if you find the application that we don't support and you need it for your case you can uh, use this button request application uh, so you fill in the form and uh, we will receive this uh, request directly to our development team and our developers uh, can start working on analysis of, of that application for you. And as soon as uh, they analyze the application, they don't need necessarily your data. Uh, they analyze the application uh, itself. Uh, they issue live update uh, and you can, you can download it and not only you, but the whole world of uh, our, our users. So that's our approach to uh, phone unlocking and uh, our approach to uh, application analysis. Uh, the other things uh, we, we will be able to help you with uh, is a new cloud uh, acquisition. Uh, our cloud acquisition coming to version 8 uh, is very important because a lot of data now is being stored in clouds and not in the, in the phone. So it's uh, not only the future, but also the present uh, of uh, the, the phone forensic uh, need. Uh, and uh, we do uh, use automatic acquisition using credentials found in phones uh, because the solution is all in one because it's uh, implemented directly in mobile edit. So whenever we find uh, cloud credentials stored in the phone, in, in the keychain, uh, we are able to immediately connect if you uh, set the, this uh, feature like on. Uh, so if you, if you wish uh, this, uh, we immediately connect to cloud and start gathering data from the cloud because uh, time can be very crucial here and uh, the suspect uh, can be aware of that and uh, he can start deleting data from the cloud. So uh, time is critical and with mobile edit uh, uh, parsing uh, the data from the phone, uh, uh, we can immediately start par parsing the data from, from the cloud. And uh, we support both password and authentication tokens. So uh, even if the token is found, uh, we can connect to cloud, it, we can start parsing. Uh, so uh, we start immediately and we support concurrent uh, download. So we can, we can download from more cloud types concurrently. There is also manual mode. So if you have uh, the credentials, uh, obtained from some other way, uh, from some other investigations, you can enter it manually and we can gather it from you. Uh, we worked hard also on uh, spyware uh, detection because spyware is uh, uh, very dangerous and uh, it's important to know if the phone you are investigating has a spyware or, or not. Uh, so uh, regarding the, the spyware, uh, for we, we support Yara rules, uh, for, for which is pretty, pretty universal. Uh, we have it optimized uh, for, for speed uh, for when there is uh, a lot of uh, data or apps uh, in the phone uh, in high volume uh, and it's user enhanceable. So you can uh, easily install, you can download and install uh, for third party or even your own uh, Yara rules. Uh, which is very open worldwide standard uh, for, for mapping the spyware, malware, uh, and uh, any, any type of uh, wrongdoing software. Uh, so uh, it's, it's new, it's, uh, it's pretty open. Uh, and uh, with new uh, mobile edit, we uh, are introducing forensic market, marketplace because no one company is able uh, to fight with all possible uh, uh, challenges that are in, in phone forensics. So we decided to, to choose uh, uh, probably the strongest possible approach, uh, uh, which is uh, utilizing third parties, with, which means joining forces uh, with uh, many other companies, many other players uh, in the world, or even independent teams. So you can enhance mobile edit with third party modules. And it, it's, it's so strong solution that uh, even uh, strongest companies in the world like uh, Apple or Google were not able to develop all possible applications for users of phones. 
and uh, their platforms uh, like iPhones, Androids are so successful uh, mainly, mainly because of the marketplace, because uh, of, uh, every smart team uh, person in the world can participate uh, on the platform. So now we are introducing uh, marketplace power uh, for mobility uh, and what it means. Uh, we, we offer to independent developers uh, or uh, the third party uh, companies the, the customer base uh, we have. Uh, we offer distribution platform, which means uh, installation, which means uh, update system, which means licensing uh, system. Uh, we offer development frameworks, uh, which is reporting framework. Uh, so the third party app can very easily uh, generate the data to, to Excel, uh, to, to PDF, to HTML. Uh, it's, it's a very easy and we handle that, that all. Uh, uh, we uh, provide uh, all the data we extract from the phone. So uh, the third party module can get everything what we get through unlocking, through physical, through logical, uh, and uh, just can start uh, handling the data and generating the report. We, we also uh, offer the, the UI framework. Uh, so if you have uh, any, any utility uh, that can de decrypt certain data, uh, if you can parse what the, nobody can, uh, you can contact us and uh, we can uh, include uh, such a module into mobile edit and uh, uh, you can immediately be part uh, of uh, the group and uh, the results of your work can be immediately available uh, to uh, forensic labs, uh, to law enforcement. And in this way, we can speed up uh, the fight uh, with, uh, with the crime. Uh, for, for what we have new is also the Apple Watch direct reading solution. So we have special connection kit uh, where if, uh, there are three, three different readers covering uh, all Apple Watch from series zero to latest uh, series six. And by this approach, we can get the data from Apple Watch, which are not available in, in Forbes. Uh, and uh, uh, there's often important evidence uh, uh, like uh, increased heart rate, uh, which helped uh, to, to solve a uh, few important cases in the world. Uh, the, the suspect was convicted because of uh, increased crime rate, uh, heart rate uh, with uh, also ge geolocations found in Apple Watch. Um, you, you can see, we can get uh, device info, we can get notes, recordings, application list, uh, pictures that may not be even in the phone, no longer. We can get locations, file system logs, and, uh, and uh, the, the, some health data as, uh, as hard rate. So that might be interesting for increasing uh, your, your success uh, of, of investigation uh, of phones. Uh, so that's uh, such an Apple Watch kit with uh, three different readers, as I mentioned. And here is example of how the report uh, looks like. This is table of contents uh, of data obtained from the, from the Apple Watch. Uh, I will be fast here. Uh, we'd offer uh, application downgrade as a method to, to get uh, more data from apps. Uh, we focus uh, to rec recovering deleted data. Uh, mobile edit works concurrently to speed up the process. Uh, if, uh, if you have uh, more phones uh, in a case, uh, huge data, this helps a lot. Uh, also, it saves money because you can use one license for, for more phones uh, at one moment. Uh, we use object and face finder. It looks like this. You just click uh, what you are interested to get uh, from uh, the evidence you, you want to narrow down, uh, like documents, current, currency, uh, weapons, uh, drugs, nudity, uh, violence, and so on. And this is example from a report of pictures we, we could get uh, by, by using that. And uh, for, for, let's uh, take a, a quick look how to further uh, improve uh, the conviction rate and uh, the success rate of getting data from, uh, from the phones. Uh, I'm sure you know uh, NIST, NIST Institute, uh, which 
uh, is testing, which uh, has been testing continuously uh, for many years, uh, the different uh, phone forensic tools. Uh, you can see their uh, tests uh, online, you can download them and uh, uh, you can see uh, for, for in which field uh, are uh, those forensic tools uh, strong. Uh, and also you can see a list of those best forensic tools like uh, Oxygen, uh, UFED, uh, Blacklight, Mobilize, uh, Mobilize and, uh, and others. Uh, Here is some comparison of uh, some, some tests. Uh, some success rate. Uh, it's uh, not important those small differences between uh, those tools. Uh, different uh, uh, sets of phones uh, can be different, but what is uh, more important here uh, is uh, that no tool has 100% uh, success rate. Yes, uh, so we are not even close. No, no tool is even close. Uh, excuse me, I will have to uh, connect to power supply because my laptop is running out of uh, battery. Okay, good. So, uh, for, no, no forensic tool is perfect, yes. Yeah? So, for, for, of course, uh, mobile edit, UFAT, uh, nobody is perfect. Uh, wh why is that? Wh why those tools are not even close to 100%? It's because uh, the phone forensic, uh, it's very complicated. Uh, unlocking of phones is very complicated. Uh, and uh, our development is uh, based on a reverse engineering, on, on hacking. So that's why uh, no tool is perfect. But uh, what happens if you combine two different tools? So if you combine uh, two tools like uh, Mobility and UFED, uh, it suddenly jumps uh, by roughly 10%. Yeah? Uh, and why is that? Uh, we can see with X-Ray, uh, it's another jump uh, by 10%. Uh, how is that possible? That's because of uh, uh, these teams uh, are uh, good in certain areas. So, so UFED team is great in, in some chipset, in some phones, in some applications. Same with X-Ray. Uh, it's, it's like athletes uh, in different disciplines. And when you combine those teams, uh, when you equip uh, your forensic lab with more tools and you know exactly which tool is strong in which field and you mm, combine them properly, uh, you will get uh, better success rate. But uh, this success rate is not only just 10%. It can be thousands of messages. It could be thousands of photos. And uh, f there can be uh, f the, the evidence that will decide if the person is innocent uh, or, or guilty. So uh, this is very important to use more tools to get maximum data. And uh, in order to support that, Mobile Edit is able to import UFED uh, data, even low level UFED data. So UFD, the binary data you obtain from UFED. So you don't have to, uh, again, do extraction, the, the timely extraction from the phone. Uh, you can, you can uh, import the data and we are able to generate UFDR, the report format that you can use in UFED Reader, UFED Analytics, so you can continue uh, your classical uh, workflow uh, that, that you like. Uh, of course, you can use the mobile edit power to ger generate, uh, as we believe, the, 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 the most beautiful, uh, comprehensive uh, reports, PDF reports or HTML reports. Uh, uh, so that would be like uh, like this, or you can uh, from the field uh, you can use money saving combination to use mobile edit to to get the data from phones and use uh, your fed readers and anal analytics to analyze. And this is uh, mobile edit as the as the only tool. Uh, uh, this is the workflow. Okay, uh, this is quick uh, view how mobile edit uh, looks like. It's extremely easy to use. Uh, th three phones. Uh, connect it at once, you choose what data you want to get, uh, and we choose uh, the proper methods uh, for that uh, we, we need uh, to, to uh, get the data. Uh, here you can choose what, uh, what to generate, and that's basically it. Yeah, it starts, uh, starts extraction, of course, with phone unlocking and uh, pin out uh, for shortening. Uh, there is uh, more advanced, uh, but still easy, easy to understand uh, workflow. Uh, just quickly, we also have camera ballistics, uh, which is able to match a photo to a camera. Uh, 
uh, like uh, ballet to, to Egan. This uh, helped uh, to solve uh, very interesting and big cases uh, in, the, in the past. Um, one of them, the police in Switzerland, the, the drug dealers, and they use it both for phone forensic and also for classical cameras, yeah, because it works for any sensor, uh, for any device uh, with a, a photo sensor. Uh, and uh, it's a set of mathematical techniques applied to digital photos. Uh, that is uh, actually uh, analyzing the physics of a sensor, the physics of, of a sensor, yeah? So uh, f, uh, f you supply the set of reference photos from the camera you found or from the phone, and uh, we calculate uh, the fingerprint, kind of uh, mathematical fingerprint of the sensor. And then uh, you can see uh, if this uh, fingerprint matches with the real uh, photos you have from the field. It, it can be child pornography. Uh, suspects often uh, say, well, I didn't take those pink pictures. Uh, I just downloaded that. So if you find on the dark web, uh, the, the child pornography pictures uh, or some, some other pictures as the evidence um, with camera ballistics, you can match those pictures with certain phones and cameras, and, and it can uh, help to, to uh, solve you the case. So here, here you can see those matches and uh, what's the probability and correlation uh, and number for, you know, for uh, every picture. And then you can find it in, in the PDF repo. So in a summary, to be uh, successful uh, with uh, the phone forensics, uh, it's uh, good to build forensic labs, so not just to buy uh, one tool, uh, because one tool cannot solve uh, the needs, the important uh, needs uh, of uh, phone forensics. Uh, you need to build forensic labs where you will have more tools. Uh, and also you, you need to use uh, more methods, not just tools uh, su such as uh, ISP, uh, chip off uh, the service tools. Uh, then uh, you need to train your team well and uh, you should use the third party knowledge uh, and uh, third party uh, services. Uh, we also run educational program. Uh, I often speak for uh, universities. We cooperate with a few universities in India. We have great cooperation there. So uh, if you are from university and you would like to, to cooperate, uh, you're, you are welcome. And we can equip you uh, with, with our tools and uh, with our knowledge and we can join uh, forces. So that's all uh, from, from Prague, uh, from, from Europe. It was great opportunity to uh, be again in India, uh, at least uh, digitally. But uh, all of you, even if you are uh, from India, you are digitally connected. So we, we were equal here, yeah? Uh, fantastic. So if you have uh, any, any further uh, questions, uh, suggestions on you would like to cooperate uh, with us, you have some uh, solution that you uh, would like to add to our marketplace, don't hesitate to contact me.